The time is 6.33. The date is September 29th, Wednesday. I'd like to call this meeting to order with first rising for the Pledge of Allegiance and immediately following that, I'd like to have a moment of silence for our sheriff who died today, Adrian Butch Anderson. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rest in peace, Butch. Thank you. Start right off. Is there any public comments or questions on agenda items only? If you do, please approach the podium. Seeing nobody approaching the podium, we have a moment here where I have presented the, this year's proposed budget to our town clerk, and I would ask her at this time to please present it to the members of the board. I'm just going to pass it down. Supervisor, do you have your copy? I have my copy. Thank you. So one goes I'll to... Get one. Nope. That's it. Is that okay? <laughs> That's it. I want one, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, budget's been given to the board members our first meeting will be October 13th that will be a special board meeting or budget to go over it start dissecting it start going over what myself and our assistant budget officer have done and we'll be presenting to you. So that is that. At this time, I'm gonna, we're gonna hold a discussion on municipal option regarding allowing adult use cannabis retail and dispensaries. Uh, this is an issue that is facing us. It has been facing us for uh, basically all year. Um, we've held off to see what the special selected committee in Albany would bring to us. Um, not a lot other than the fact that, you know, it's now legal, but we do have options. We are willing to listen to opinions, comments, and whatsoever is brought to us by the public. But uh, at this time, uh, Tommy, we want to discuss uh, a few things here. Yeah, so the um, legislation that was passed down from Albany uh, gives the municipality the uh, option to opting in and uh, having uh, cannabis uh, sales and also uh, cannabis uh, smoking uh, establishments or the municipality could opt out. In the legislation, if a municipality decides to opt out in a particular year, they always have the right to opt in at a later at date. A later date. Um, there were supposed to be um, regulations and further guidance from Albany, but due to the change in governor, um, the uh, governor Hochul had just within the last, I believe, four weeks has finally named a cannabis uh, director for New York State. And as far as I've been checking, as far as I can see, those regulations have not been put out yet, which puts not just Dover, but other municipal, all municipalities a little bit behind the eight ball because we're not sure what the state regulations are going to be. Yeah, up until that point, it was just basically a committee. Correct. And no official word, no official uh, literature sent down to us. So, yes, I mean, the the... The sum of the talk is is the sales tax option that municipalities could receive. Correct. That's one of the potential benefits 
is they will be a um, uh, the municipality will share in the sales tax revenue generated by the um, sale of cannabis. Some of the cons, some of the groups like uh, MAD and uh, other uh, groups like National Council Against Drug and Other Dependencies. One is uh, their argument that it's a potential gateway drug. Another argument is that uh, if you allow uh, lounges, that there could be a great increase in uh, driving well under the uh, influence of drugs, DWAI. I believe CAPE also has had some issues, Correct. some, some uh, conversations about it. Yeah. Um, part of my issue, and if you can confirm this, is the testing ability of our police agencies. They can tell you how legally drunk you are with a breathalyzer test and a sobriety test on the side of the road. But I haven't seen anything yet that can tell you how how high I am, other than blood or urine, correct? Correct. Okay. I read it correctly. Thank you. All right. We're going to be reading. We're going to be reading something tonight. Yeah, so the process is um, to uh, for the town board has to take some type of action, either opting in or opting out. Um, there's a requirement because it would be done by local law. There's a requirement for a public hearing, so I've prepared a resolution for the board tonight to schedule a public hearing, I believe, for the October 27th meeting. Public could come out. You could hear any opinions from the public, and the board ultimately, either at that meeting or a future meeting, would have to uh, make a determination of whether they want to opt in or opt out for this year. The uh, There is a limit on the amount of, I believe, licenses or permits, whatever the wordages are going to use. Correct. Each county throughout so the state. So even if the town of Dover decided to opt in, there's no guarantee that a dispensary would be able to obtain a license and operate in the town of Dover. That would be up to the applicants and how, how the state is going to parse out those licenses. I haven't been able to determine exactly how they're going to decide to do it, if they're going to uh, give preference to regionalization, uh, population, um, so that I can't answer for the demographics. Board. Yeah. Right. And also just for the board, either way, the board opts. There is a requirement in the local law that it's subject to permissive referendum. So if the board opts in and a certain amount of the electorate files a permissive referendum, then it would go to the uh, to a vote either either way, if, if opt in or opt out, if a permissive referendum uh, was triggered. Uh, but like I said, if the board decided to opt out for this year, they could always revisit it next year if once the regulations are out and you know exactly what uh, mm -hmm. what the uh, legislation and the regulations are going to contain. Other towns that I have talked to, they are debating whether or not some towns have already made that choice. Uh, we have a town to the north of us that myself, uh, council and uh, Councilman Abrams sat through. Uh, we talked to the supervisor of that town. He gave us the reasons and the opinions that they opted out at this time. And uh, part of the common denominator was zoning. Am I good by saying that, you think, Rennie? Zoning and the lack of regulation yes. direction at this point. Yes. They, they don't even know where they're going and what they're going to do. So they, they held off to put zoning in place and, uh, and see where it's going exactly. <laughs> And we're right in the middle of rewriting zoning. So that's something that we need to consider as well. Question. Does the town get tax dollars from the sale of any of that? Yes. Afterwards? Yes. I believe it's going to be three quarters of the sales tax. It would, go to the would go to the municipality. So it's, well, we'll talk privately. So any questions, John? I would just think the zoning for for retail is that what it would entail? It would be commercial. Yeah, the town has two business. options. If they decided to opt in, one they could allow retail, right, and one would be what they describe as lounges, where you could go and smoke. So that would be like recreation. Uh, you know, I mean, how would you zone? You know, I, I mean, that's just depending on what else they did within the establishment, right? Correct. Saying, you know what I mean? No, they're not just they're just not going to go there to smoke. There's yeah. going to be other options in there, such as maybe bar-type activity. You don't know. Yeah. People okay. are going to get hungry. No. Right. Jay, anything? Too early to tell. Okay. Ready? Yeah, no. 
Andrew. I think we should opt out knowing that we could always opt in in the future and until we get some sort of better guidance on yeah, I agree with that. legislation or opt out. regulation. Well, what we're going to read tonight, we'll set the date. We'll listen to the public hearing, see what the comments we have to say, and uh, we'll see what is said or if anything is said that night. And then uh, I say we bring it back to ourselves, leave it open for maybe written comments for a few days afterwards. if Perfectly legal. And then uh, we have three meetings counting that night within three weeks. Mm -hmm. So we'll go from there. Sounds good. We're good with that. Everybody okay with that? Yep. Okay. That discussion is now closed. We have another discussion that we're going to entertain at this time. The discussion on the road closure, Wheeler Road. I believe we have a representative from Olivet here tonight. Uh, myself and Tommy have talked. We felt we needed to discuss this tonight. Marion, if you want to come to the podium, in case there's any questions. <clears throat> this is a discussion that was brought to us uh, probably a few months now. Uh, we've done some research into it. We've done some legal research. Our lawyers have been back and forth talking about it. And uh, we did have a meeting to discuss this. Some agreements were made. Uh, Tommy, do we have further? How much further should I go? Um, that's that's fine. So we've been in um, negotiations. I, I did research on the road um, and determined that back, I believe, in the 1930s, it was abandoned. There's documentation to that effect. Um, there's clear court of appeal case law, which is the highest court in the state, that says that once a municipality abandons a road, they do not have the authority to require it to be kept open to the public for the current <clears throat> by the current landowner, except if certain things were done, like uh, uh, more than snow plowing or just uh, uh, by the town and stuff like that, which I don't, after speaking with the highway superintendent, that's not even the case in this instance. So <clears throat> rather than uh, enter into a potential litigation that uh, the law uh, doesn't really support the town on uh, requiring it to be kept open to the public, uh, we've entered into a negotiation to at least keep it open um, for bicycle and pedestrian traffic and also there is an easement on the property that encum encumbers some of the road uh, from new york state i believe dc for mm -hmm. fishing and that needs to be kept open as well and the uh, property owner through their attorney seems amenable i've been provided with a uh, proposed agreement that i'm going to uh, share with the board tonight I told their attorney that we would discuss it and hopefully be able to uh, get back any comments and potentially act on it at the October 27th. Meeting. Okay. We still we still all in agreement with all of that, Marion? The recreational yes, use, everybody. the fishing? Yes, we are fully in, in agreement with that. It will be last time discussed. Okay. So pedestrian tra traffic, uh, cyclist, and uh, full access to the fishing stream. I'm sorry. Just state your name and where you're from for the record, please. Yes, this is Marian Ribro, Dover Greens, the owner of the property, subsidiary of Olivet University. Thank you. So as you heard, uh, we have had meetings. Tommy has done our research for us. A uh, representative from Olivet has agreed that um, if we consider this, if we go ahead with the closure, that uh, recreational use such as walking and bicycling will be allowed only. Uh, the fishing that the state also has that will be available uh, to the public and uh, i don't have a problem with bringing it to the 27th meeting if nobody else does jay no rennie no wishers jan no wishers i'm good good for you okay yes yeah, sounds good all right thank you council all good yeah i'll discuss this uh all right further with the board thank you very much thank you Thank you for coming, Marion.
reports from the Dover Recreation Department. You want to go first, Julie? I'm Julie Muncy. I'm from the Dover Recreation Department. So first off, I want to thank everybody who helped with Dover Day, um, especially my staff, uh, Sean and Dodie and Venna and Ann, who all helped, as well as the Highway Department. Thank God for them, Billy, Nick, Joe, and Dave. Um, the town staff, Lizette, Nicole, town board members who came, uh, town recreation uh, commission who came, uh, especially all the sponsors who helped the day go by and uh, make the day happen, uh, as well as J.H. Ketchum Hose, all the vendors, um, nonprofits, the businesses. Everybody got a big opportunity to go and see um, all the local businesses, all the nonprofit uh, and um, services that we have in our area. So that really helped uh, for a lot of people. Um, but I really want to thank, uh, it was a great day, uh, great weather. So I just want to thank everybody for helping and making that day great. And the next one is um, uh, September 17th next year. So that's the plan. Uh, the other thing we have coming up for um, is our trunk or treat, and that's going to be on October 30th at 1 p.m. Right now, it's going to be the normal one that we normally do, not a drive-through. But you know, we'll we'll uh, figure that out later. But as of right now, it'll be like the normal one, like we usually have. We'll have all the kids walk around to each car and and go that way. Um, do our little pumpkin patch that we usually have some donuts and cider. Um, but if we have to do the drive-in, that, that worked really well last year as well. So that's our plan, October 30th, 1 o'clock. We also have another, our holiday fence and our tree lighting. That's going to be on Saturday, December 4th, um, probably around 5 o'clock. We haven't quite got the time. But hopefully we'll be able to do that this year with no issues. Um, but we'll see. You know, we'll keep everybody updated on that. Uh, next week, we start our programs. We have um, Zumba taking place, boot camp taking place, uh, functional interval training uh, going, as well as guitar lessons. Um, everything but guitar lessons will be up at the high school. Uh, we're allowed to go in. Excuse me, they're going to be at Winged Elementary. Uh, they can go with, they have to go in with masks. Um, because there's not as many people um, and they have the whole gym, they can be six feet apart. They don't have to wear masks while they're working out. Um, and they have to wear masks when they leave. Uh, so we're grateful for that. Um, guitar lessons will be down at the pavilion in the community room starting next week as well. Um, the, uh, and we have basketball coming in starting in the beginning of December. We will be at the high school for that uh, two days a week. And uh, in January, we'll be adding another one for K through two. And on Saturdays in January, we'll be doing the games. As of right now, they will have to wear masks while playing. But, uh, you know, that might change. We're not sure. So we're playing by ear, and hopefully these programs will go well. And we're trying to incorporate a few others So as we're going along. Um, and right now, our, we're doing our fields. Uh, soccer's in full force. Fall ball's in full force. Um, so we're, you know, making everything pretty and getting ready for the fall. So any questions? Good job on right. Dover Day. All right. Thank it's you. packed all day long. Thanks. Thanks, Joy. Right. Highway Superintendent Jason Satori. Jason Satori, Dover Town Highway Superintendent. Uh, this month, I would say, was, I'd say, one thing happened this month Hurricane Ida. <laughs> so we only spent the entire month so far <laughs> redoing everything possible to the roads that were destroyed from Cart Road that was closed for three days and rebuilt a good portion of the dirt road that was there. Uh, Ridge Road, Ridge Wash out there, uh, Dual Hollow, uh, Bird Hill, Leather Hill, Brazier Road, McCourt Road, Corbin Road, Berkshire Road, Onion Town Road, Johnson Hill, Hutchinson Avenue. And I'd like to say thank you for opening the gate for us so we get people in and out of there because the road was closed due to uh, being on the power lines. We had to wait for them to get there. Appreciate that, thank you. Uh, Sand Hill, Southeast Mountain Road, North Farm Drive where we had to replace a whole pipe across the road from a three foot to a four foot, and Wiles Road. And we're just about caught up. So it was kind of uneventful. It was just one thing that occurred that <clears throat> took us the whole month to recuperate from, but we did, so 
And I'd like to thank my guys for stepping up and getting it done, and Lori for doing all our hard work in the office for me. Anything else? Questions? I did reach out to Duchess Land today, so we okay. will have somebody looking at the bridge issue. Okay. Um, actually, uh, Jim Muncy's going to help us out and reach out to the guy that originally did them, uh, Savage. Andy, Andy Savage. Savage Construction. And that Andy Stone Savage. Church, Stone yep. Church when they... So, uh, I'm going to reach out and meet with Jim on Monday. Okay. So if there is a way that we can just touch up the road in case they need to drive in to take a look at things, whenever you can get to it. Roger that. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Yes. So the bridge issue that we've been talking about, hopefully we'll get taken care of. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you, Jason. Thanks, Jason. <clears throat> Reports from the downboard members. Councilman Maluda. I have no report this month. Okay. Councilman Murphy. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I know Julie mentioned in her report uh, about Dover Day. Uh, on behalf of the board, I want to say, Julie, great job. Uh, it was a really, really good day, as you said. Uh, most important, having the park full was something really good that I think the town really needed at this particular time. So, again, you know, job well done. Um, second, uh, you know, recently this month we had a planning board meeting and it was, again, you know, to note, it was, it was packed in here. So um, getting, if you want to get more involved in what's going on in the town, go to the website, go to the town hall website, get the calendar of events for public hearings and just general planning board notes and, you know, be a part of what's going on in the town. And lastly, <clears throat> um, over the last two to three months, you know, I haven't said anything in notes or anything like that, but I thought it was like a one-off or two-off. But, um, you know, on Reagan's Mill and uh, uh, Sycamore in the Woodwinds development, there's uh, the corner where apparently there's been a lot of dumping, you know, between washing machines, TVs, bookshelves, and Jason allowed me to uh, pick it up and dump it up, up here, so thank you. Um, but please, you know, it's not a dumping ground. Have some respect. Uh, don't dump on town property, please. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. <clears throat> Redmond. Um, I don't, but there is a neat thing at the library. Susan, are you available? To, are able to? The li I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. The librarian couldn't make it tonight. Okay. Or actually, something came up with all of us. We're going to do it next meeting on the 13th. They're going to give a presentation. <laughs> Perfect. I forgot. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, that's good. Other than that, I have nothing. So. Yep. It was partly because of the, the the big agenda, everything else going on, and it was just easier for next week or two weeks. I'm sorry. Uh, I will. I'll uh, go ahead, deputy. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, we're awarding the walking track tonight down at the Jade's Catching Park, keeping things moving, and uh, just sounds crazy to think this, but. Uh, uh, we're placing our order for the uh, Christmas tree display on Route 22. 50 trees <laughs> on Route 22 from uh, 50 coming trees. through town. 50 trees that are lit. Just wonderful. A lot of fun putting that up. So <laughs> that, uh, but there, uh, we, uh, it seems crazy that we're that close to it. But yep, trees are uh, being ordered. So we're going ahead with it. Great. Yeah, great. Great. <laughs> we also, I also got, I also got word that the uh, the veterans banners will be in. Um, maybe you didn't get told yet. Well, around no, the I was 18th, gonna, Around the eighteenth. So yeah, I was going to bring that up next week. I've or, reached out know, to a 17th. bucket truck guy. Yep. Way more than I was told, so we'll figure it out. All right, supervisors' report. Um, touching base on one piece that Jay brought up. The meeting that we had. It was a packed house. And for those of you that question my authority on mandating masks that night, that is my authority. Um, I will keep it safe for each and every person as much as I feel I need to. Some people question why. Well, the why is, is I push the envelope on the occupancy level in here so as many people can possibly hear, ask, or listen to what was, state, what was stated that night about that large project. That is why... I asked for people to wear masks while they were in here in the meeting room. Out in the foyer areas, we set up laptops so people can still watch and listen. 
And if they were ever able to be spread apart, then they were able to take their masks off. That is why. That is my call. Whether you're for it or against it, I have to do what I feel is best for everybody attending that meeting that night. I will now put that one to bed. We had to replace signage and caution tape at Stone Church. For those of you that have called, yes, it is closed. But no, I probably can't stop the amount of people that have been going up there. Why? Because I'm not going to man it 24-7. I've done what I've needed to do by letting you know that it's closed both publicly, on social media, with signage. You just heard me talk to the highway super that there is a bridge issue up there, and that is why. Once again, a safety issue. So, once again, I will say, Stone Church is closed, officially. But I do not have the money, I do not have the personnel to man that from dawn to dusk. So have the respect for the word that I have put out social media and publicly right now, along with the signage that we have posted. Thank you. We already touched on Dover Day. I thank each and every Dover staff, highway department, rec staff, town hall staff, elected officials, volunteers, each and every one of you that were there that day. Um, I will be attending a historical society fundraiser, our town's historical society fundraiser this weekend. I've been asked to attend and MC it. Um, this organization does a lot. They keep the history of Dover alive. They keep our Tabor Wing House active and open. Um, we've done a lot of repairs this past year and there that weren't done in the past. Um, they needed to be done. Improvements needed to be made, and we found ways between myself and your board members and Deputy House, we found ways to make it happen. We found ways to fund it. And uh, I thank each and every one of those members for what they do. They keep Dover's history out there for people to see and to learn about. Um, as you heard tonight, I handed out the budget to our board members. The next two weeks, they'll be going through it, looking through it, seeing what I've had done, what I am proposing. Myself and my assistant budget officer, Nicole, and seeing what brings us in the future. See what the tax base is, see what we're looking to purchase, to improve, to maintain. Um, so that's what we'll be doing the next two weeks. It's a busy couple months coming up. Um, we have two meetings a month right through December. Uh, we'll probably have to go twice in December because the amount of time in between the meetings, we just can't wait that long. It's like six weeks. So we'll have to go twice in December as well. But uh, that's all I have. Again, the storm took its toll on us. We're still fighting it. Uh, I'm still fighting it on the county end as well. For those of you who don't know or that you do know, there is a countywide portal for FEMA. You can go into that. You can give your information. You can give your damage. You can give the assessment if you have one already. You can enroll in that. And if the county qualifies for individual coverage through FEMA, you'll be entered into it. The county has already been certified for public assistance, okay? So the individual assistance is still on the table. Please go to duchessny.gov and look for that FEMA portal. And if you sustained any damage from flooding, the rain, the winds for that storm a few weeks ago, Please, please put your information into it. There's nothing to lose, but there's a lot to gain if it'll help you out as well. Okay? Anybody else? Did I miss anything? Madam Clerk, you have anything? No, sir. Okay, we'll get right into resolutions. Resolution to authorize and approve consent agenda items. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Dover does hereby approve the following items for consideration and adoption on the September 29th, 2021 town board regular meeting consent agenda. Authorize payment of abstract number nine of 2021 in the amount of $215,135.07. Accept the minutes of the town board meeting of August 25th, 2021, and special meeting of September 15th, 
2021. Approve the town clerk's report for August 2021. Approve the town supervisor's financial report for August 2021. And authorize budget transfers, budget amendments, and payment of off abstract purchase orders as prepared and submitted by the town's bookkeeper. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by House, seconded by Maluda. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Resolution scheduling public hearing for the 2022 Town of Dover Fire Services contract. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover hereby authorizes the scheduling of a public hearing so public comment can be heard on the Town of Dover proposed 2022 fire services contract and be it further resolved that the said that said public hearing shall be scheduled for October 27th, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. or as soon thereafter as public comment can be heard at the Dover Town Hall, 126 East Duncan Hill Road, Dover Plains, New York, 12522 and be it further resolved that the town board authorizes and directs the town clerk to publish the required notice in the official newspaper of the town of Dover. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Abrams and seconded by House. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried. Resolution scheduling public hearing on implementation of unified solar permit application local law. Be it, further re be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover hereby authorizes the scheduling of a public hearing on a proposed local law number two of 2021 for the implementation of the unified solar permit application for Wednesday, October 27th, 2021 at, the, at 6.30 p.m. or as soon thereafter as public comment can be heard at Dover Town Hall, 126 East Duncan Hill Road, Dover Plains, New York. And be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover does hereby authorize and direct the Town Clerk to advertise notice of said public hearing in the official newspaper of the Town of Dover. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Maluda, seconded by Abrams. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. All in favor? So carried. <coughs> Resolution scheduling of public hearing on proposed local law enacting chapter. Is that supposed to have a number yet, Tom? Be, to to be determined. Clerk. Okay. To be determined. Okay. All right, sorry. Resolution scheduling of a public hearing on proposed local law enacting chapter to be determined of the Code of the Town of Dover entitled New York State Cannabis Law Opt-Out Legislation. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover hereby authorizes the scheduling of a public hearing at the Dover Town Hall, 126 East Duncan Hill Road, Dover Plains, New York, 12522 on Wednesday, October 27, 2021 at 6.30 p.m., or as soon thereafter as possible on a proposed local law enacting chapter to be determined of the Code of Do Town of Dover entitled New York State Cannabis Opt-Out Legislation, and be it further resolved that the Town Board authorizes and directs the Town Clerk to publish the required notice in the official newspaper of the Town of Dover. <clears throat> I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by House, seconded by Abrams. Any discussion? Oh, Rich, yeah. do we, this is just for the zoning aspect of it, or do we currently have something in place where someone's looking to come in? I don't know if it's too early to... No, this is just has to do with the law. You either have to opt in or opt out. You know, so that we choices. can at a later date. I just want to make sure yeah, I'm so understanding it. Yeah, if yeah. you opt out this year at a later date, as soon as next year, you could opt in. Okay. How does that fall? Because I do have a question. How does that fall for an agricultural type business, such as a growing only? That's totally different. Okay. Yeah, some sort of ag. That, that would have to be a license from the state. 
Yep. Okay. Because there is a property being looked at. That's why I asked that now. And that's the reason why I don't know. You if reminded it was, me of that. So that's why I'm saying it was. I don't know if it was already okay. in play or. Because then obviously schools. Where is it? Yep. All that. Yeah. So that's all going to be playing this, into play. This was given to our comprehensive plan committee. They're in the middle of rewriting the zoning now, okay. as well as the comprehensive plan. So they are fully aware of that. Um, we will. I will be talking with them before uh, the next meeting to yep. get their opinion. Now that they've entertained it for a few weeks, and uh, we'll go from there. Any other discussion? Seeing no further discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried. I don't need to read that copy you sent with that, Tommy. No, that's for the okay. publish notice. Sure. <clears throat> Resolution authorizing public notice for material bids for 2022. Whereas the Town of Dover Highway Superintendent has prepared a list of material needed for the operation of the Town of Dover Highway Department for 2022. And whereas, pursuant to Section 103 of the General Municipal Law of the State of New York, which requires that all expenditures for materials which exceed $35,000 be awarded to the lowest responsible bidder. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover is hereby directed to publish proper notice for the solicitation of bids in the official newspaper of the Town of Dover for the purchase of materials for use by the Town of Dover Highway Department in 2022. I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by House, seconded by Maluda. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried. Resolution to authorize advertisement for bids for town mowing and trimming for 2022. Be it resolved that pursuant to section 103 of the general municipal law of the state of New York and the town of Dover procurement policy, the town board of the town of Dover hereby authorizes the town clerk of the town of Dover to advertise for bids for mowing and trimming services for the town of Dover pursuant to the job specifications prepared by the Town of Dover Recreation Director for 2022. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Murphy, seconded by Abrams. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Resolution authorizing advertisement for proposals for the purchase and installation of indoor LED lighting at Dover Plains Library. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover hereby authorizes the advertisement for request for proposals, RFPs, for the purchase and installation of indoor LED lighting at the Dover Plains Library. And be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover hereby authorizes and directs the town clerk to advertise for RFPs in the official newspaper of the town of Dover for the purchase and installation of indoor LED lighting at the Dover Plains Library. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Abrams, seconded by Maluda. Any discussion? Good? Yeah, good. Thanks, sir. Okay. Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Resolution awarding bid for JHK walking track construction project. Whereas the town of Dover advertised for bids for the JHK park walking track construction project. And whereas bids were received, opened and reviewed. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Dover hereby awards the bid of land V scape incorporated DBA Nikki Diggs excavation of Lincolndale, New York in the amount of $93,175 as the lowest responsible bidder in connection with JHK Park walking track construction project. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by House, seconded by Murphy. Any discussion? This will be a quarter mile porous pavement track. It's going to be great. 
This was with the bid that we received from the county. Mm -hmm. yep. Grant. More. Yep. yep. Some more community bucks. They were also involved in the reviewing process of the bids. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, any other discussion? Seeing no other discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Resolution accepting Dutchess County Municipal Investment Grant Program Award. Whereas the Town of Dover made application to the Dutchess County 2021 Municipal Investment Grant Program for funding assistance in connection with the J.H. Ketchum Memorial Park Community Center Pavilion, Sensory Garden, and Inclusive Transformation of the Children's Playground. And whereas the Town of Dover has been awarded a $75,000 grant from the 2021 Municipal Investment Grant Program for the J.H. Ketchum Memorial Park Project. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover does hereby accept the $75,000 2021 Municipal Investment Grant Program awarded by Dutchess County for use in the J.H. Ketchum Memorial Park Community Center Pavilion, Sensory Garden, and inclusive transformation of children's playground. I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by House, seconded by Murphy. Murphy. Discussion. This is going to be great. It's just shy, 300K. We have uh, a big thanks out to our town clerk, Katie Palmer, who, Katie Palmer House, who, who writes our grants, who follows through with our grants, who administers our grants. Uh, I can't say thank you enough, but Andrew is correct. We are just shy of 300K, $300,000 for this project. So this weekend I went to visit Julie's Jungle in Fishkill, uh, an inclusive ADA compliant uh, playground. It was awesome. So we have great ideas ahead. I was just going to say, I take it we're going to be getting some ideas mm -hmm. <laughs> next, My next grandchildren week or so. loved it. But again, uh, yeah, we have photos of everything. <laughs> but uh, again, thank you to all involved. This, this project has come from a partially filled hole in the ground and a shell of a building to what you see down there today. And we are using it. We are using it and we continue to improve it and we continue to build on it. And uh, I, again, Deputy House and our clerk, They've led the way, and everybody that's followed behind them has gotten it to where it's gotten it to. And uh, still, as you'll hear in three weeks, there's still something to come that I was able to hopefully put in the budget and keep in the budget for down there. And uh, that's just what the work that we do, that's what we get. So once again, thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Thank you, County. <clears throat> Resolution authorizing hiring of substitute seasonal driver for Town of Dover Highway Department. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Dover does hereby authorize the hiring of Megan Maglio to the position of season, seasonal substitute driver for the Town of Dover Highway Department for the 2021 22 winter season at the recommendation of the town highway superintendent Jason Sartori at the hourly rate contained in the IBT local 456 contract with the town of Dover. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Maluda, seconded by Abrams. Any discussion? You'll be bringing more to us, Jay? I believe we have to renew each year, don't we? Yes, we should. Sure. We have to renew that list each year going in. We, have, uh, Bill, mm -hmm. and we can do it. This is simple. We can do it again next month. Yeah. We just want to make sure. We didn't know if they just got left in or whatever, how that works. We've, we've always, it's been practice that we always read them. Going into that season, we've always reread them. We'll have it yeah, so just put, get the list together. We'll do it again next week, whatever meeting. Any other discussion? Council? 
Right? Okay. I thought I thought you said something. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Resolution authorizing the hiring of town constable. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Dover does hereby authorize the hiring of Martin Finneran to the position of town constable in the town of Dover, effective September 29, 2021, at the hourly rate contained in the 2021 adopted budget of the town of Dover. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Brought by Murphy, seconded by Abrams. Discussion. This was an interview that myself and Councilman Murphy held on Monday. Uh, Deputy uh, House was tied up, so I put myself, Jay, and my confidential secretary, uh, along with Brett Johnson, our lead constable. Uh, we held an interview. He's, Jay, way more than qualified, probably. More than qualified. Um, he is presently a court officer in the town of Greenberg. He's also presently a sheriff with Westchester County Department of Public Safety. And he's also at this time a constable in the town of Clinton. So uh, we feel this resolution was could be brought. We feel it's an adequate hire, and that's why we read that tonight. Any other discussion? Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Are there any public comments at this time? If you do, please approach the podium. Seeing nobody approaching the podium. Upcoming meetings. Wednesday, October 13th, 2021. That will be a, uh, a special meeting on the budget. There will also be a couple things to read that night, but the main topic that night is <laughs> the, uh, the dissection of the budget that I have proposed. How's that? But uh, yeah, so that's the 13th. Wednesday, October 27th will be a busy night. As you have heard, uh, the public hearings that we scheduled for that night and then we will be meeting a f the following week, Wednesday, November 3rd. So with that, I would make the motion that we enter into an executive session to discuss personnel and litigation issues and not to return out here to the dais. Can I get a second? Second. Brought by myself, seconded by House. All in favor to enter into executive session and not return. Aye. 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 Any opposed? So carry to enter a new executive session. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good night and thank you all and be safe. Peace.